in the sleep of ignorance, are irritated although there is nothing irritating, enjoy themselves although there is nothing enjoyable, and frightened although there is nothing to be afraid of. Finally, there are five types of dreams. I. In the case of physical unbalance, when the hot vapors predominate, one dreams a lot, one sees fire, yellow and red. E. When the cold vapors predominate, one sees especially water and white. E. When the windy vapors predominate, one sees particularly flights of birds and black. I. V. When one has thought a lot during the day and reflected well on what one has seen and heard, one sees all of that again in dream. V. Finally, the gods send dreams to teach about future events. These five types of dreams are all without reality. They are false visions. It is the same for people who are awake. Beings who are in the five destinies see the Atman in four ways because of their material visions. I. The form aggregate is the Atman. E. Form belongs to the self, to the me. E. In the Atman, there is Rupa. I. V. In Rupa, there is Atman. What they say here about Rupa they also apply to feeling, perception, the formations and consciousness. This makes 4 times 5 equals 20 ways of considering Atman. But when they have found the path and true wisdom has awakened them, they know that this so-called Atman has no reality. Question. You should not say that the dream has no reality. Why? Because every mind depends on causes and conditions in order to be produced and, in the dream, consciousness has all sorts of conditions. Without these conditions, how could consciousness arise? Answer. It's nothing of the sort. In dream, we see something although we should not see it. We see, for example, a human head with horns or dead bodies flying through space. Actually, people do not have horns and dead bodies do not fly. Thus the dream has no reality. Question. But human heads really exist and in addition, horns also exist. It is by a mental confusion that we see a human head with horns. There really is space and there really are beings. That fly. It is by mental confusion that we see dead bodies that fly. It is not on account of that that the dream has no reality. Answer Even though there are truly human heads and even though there are truly horns, a human head with horns is nothing but a false vision. Question. The universe is vast and, in the course of previous lifetimes, the causes and conditions that determine these consciousnesses have been varied. There may be strange lands where the heads of people grow horns, where the people have but one hand or one foot, or where they are but one foot tall, or where they have nine heads. What is strange about humans having horns? Answer It is possible that in other lands people may have horns. But in a dream, one sees only what one knows in this very land where people with horns do not occur. Moreover, some see in dreams the limits of space or the limits of the directions and of time. How are such things true? In what place could space, directions and time be absent? This is why in a dream we see as existent things that do not exist. You were asking how consciousness could be produced in the absence of conditions. Even though the conditions consisting of the five sense objects were lacking, the conditions necessary for the production of dharmas arise by the efficacy of thinking and of the mind. If somebody tells you about a man with two heads, this statement would produce in you a concept and, in a dream, you will see as existent that which does not exist. It is the same for the dharmas. They are non-existent and nevertheless they are seen, heard and cognized. A stanza says, All dharmas are like a dream, a magic show, a city of the Gandharvas. This is why the bodhisattvas believe that dharmas are like a dream. 8. Like a shadow. A shadow is visible but cannot be grasped. It is the same for dharmas. The organs and the sense objects are seen, heard, cognized and felt, but their reality is ungraspable. 
A stanza says, True wisdom, ungraspable on all four sides, cannot be touched. Like a blazing inferno, dharmas are impregnable, they must not be grasped. Moreover, it is necessary that light be intercepted so that the shadow appears. Without this interception, the shadow would be absent. In the same way, it is necessary that the fetters and the afflictions hide the light of correct seeing so that the shadow of the Atman and of Dharmas appear. Moreover, the shadow walks when the person walks, the shadow moves when the person moves, the shadow stops when the person stops. In the same way, the shadow of good or bad actions moves when the past existence moves, but it remains stationary when the present existence is stationary because the retribution of actions has not been cut. When the sins and merits are ripe, the shadow disappears. Some stanzas say, action follows its perpetrator through the air, it pursues him among the rocks. It accompanies him in the depths of the earth, it enters the waters of the ocean with him. It pursues him always and everywhere. The shadow of actions is indissoluble. This is why dharmas are like a shadow. Finally, the shadow is empty, non-existent. One may search hard for its reality but one can never find it. Similarly, all dharmas are empty and without reality. Question. It is not true that the shadow is empty and without reality. Why? It is said in the Apitian Abhidharma. Colon. What is called, visible. Blue, yellow, red, white, black, deep red, light blue, light and shadow. Moreover, bodily action and the three kinds of derived matter are called, visible, or rupayatana. Why do you say that the shadow does not exist? Furthermore, the shadow truly exists because it has causes and conditions. Its cause is the tree. Its condition is light. When these two principal factors come together, the shadow is produced. Why do you say that it does not exist? If there is no shadow, the other dharmas that also possess causes and conditions would not exist either. Finally, this shadow has a visible color. Long or short, big or small, thick or thin, crooked or straight. When the shape moves, the shadow also moves. All of that is visible. This is why the shadow must exist. Answer the shadow is empty and non-existent. You quote a passage from the Abhidharma, but the interpretation that you give it is that of a person. People often mistreat the meaning of scriptural texts and take their inventions as reality. Thus it is said in the Pipo Cha. Colon. The atoms are subtle, indestructible and incombustible. Therefore they are eternal. And again, the dharmas of the three times pass from the future to the present, and from the present to the past without deteriorating. Colon. These texts favor eternalism. On the other hand, it is also said. Conditioned dharmas, arising and perishing ever anew, do not last. This text favors nihilism. Why? Because that which is conditioned no longer exists after having existed. Thus in the Abhidharma, there are all sorts of statements that contradict the words of the Buddha. We cannot resort to it to establish that the shadow is a type of material dharma.